Hello, hello. How are you doing today, friends? I'm here again to show you another fun activity you can do at home. So we are going to be making, or I should say, we're going to be decorating some sticks today. So as you see, I used mostly blue, but I also have some white and I have some red. And those are, these are three different types of paper. And I'm going to show you guys how each one works. So I will say that the tissue paper works the best, but if you do not have tissue paper, no worries. Paper, regular paper, just printer paper, and construction paper work just as well. You just might need to use a little more glue or Mod Podge. You're going to need to find a really awesome stick. It can be way bigger than this. It can be as big as you. It can be really small. Up to you. You're going to want one that's got enough space that you can really kind of paint on this and wrap paper around it. So you're going to want one that's a little thicker, not too thin. You're going to need either Mod Podge, which I got this at the dollar store, or white glue. Because white glue will work exactly the same as this. Just might need a tiny bit longer to dry but also depends on how much you actually are gonna use on your stick. So they both dry clear, which is what we need. Um, something to put your Mod Podge or glue in. I just happen to have these. These are also from the dollar store. And then I have a regular paintbrush, dollar store, and a sponge brush. Either one will work. You don't need any specific type of brush to do this. Either will work. You can even use your fingers if you don't have any paintbrushes. That works too. And then you're going to need some tissue paper or whatever kind of paper you're deciding to use or what you have at home. You're going to take your Mod Podge or your glue, whatever you're using. You want to have some out. You are going to probably need to refill whatever you're using to hold your Mod Podge because you do need quite a bit of it. And you're going to take your stick. I'll start with this paintbrush. And get a lot on there and you're just gonna paint your stick I would do small spots at a time you don't want to do too much space at one time because then it'll start to dry you can always go right back over it but easier to start small so you're gonna cover it up with your Mod Podge and then whatever form of fake you're using you're literally just gonna stick it on and then after that you're gonna paint over top of it. This is actually going to seal it into onto the stick and it actually will give it that shiny uh, finish. This is a great activity to do outside, guys. Less worrying about mess. So there, I have one piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some of the red and some of the white paper as well. So with the construction paper and the regular paper, it is going to be just a little more difficult to get it to stick and you're going to need to really use your fingers and get a little messy, but it will stick. You just have to just work it a little bit more and then make sure you do your coat over top of it to make sure that it really sticks and that you are going to get that shiny finish once it's all dry. And with using the construction paper and the um, printer paper, you're going to want smaller pieces. The tissue paper, you can really just wrap all the way around and then paint right over top of it with the um, Mod Podge or the glue. But with this, um, just because it's a little tougher to bend and really like smush down into the stick, you're going to want smaller pieces of this paper. I'm gonna go ahead and do a few pieces with the with the regular glue just to show you guys that it works exactly the same. 
make sure when you're all done that you wash off whatever you used to paint with because the glue will dry and then you'll have a hard paintbrush. And that won't be very fun to use. <laughs> When you go over it, um, over and over again with the paint, it actually helps to soften the paper, which will help it to stick to the stick. So if you're having issues with getting it to stick down, just go over it with the glue and the or the Mod Podge. That will definitely help to set it in. I decided I'm doing a pattern. So I have my blue and then I have red white, red, white. What do you think should come next? Blue, right? No. Miss Allie's being silly. I'm gonna do red next. All right, so I got my last piece on there you see I started with blue and then I ended with blue so I made a nice big pattern all the way down my stick I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna make sure that everything is glued on so you might need to get a little bit more glue on your paintbrush just go over everything one final time to make sure that it's really 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 stuck this point your paper is really really soft so this is the perfect time to go in and really push it down and make sure it's sticking to the stick do be careful though because your paper is soft so it might rip but that's okay go over it with some more glue and it'll be good as new no need to worry all right so now I'm gonna sit my stick outside to dry. And when I come back to it, and once it's all dry, it'll be nice and shiny like this one. And it looks like now I just found a blue stick on the ground. But nope, I actually decorated it to be just my own. So I can't wait to see what colors you guys decide to do. You can also color your, uh, your plain printer paper and make it whatever color you want. And you can even add shapes and pictures and a whole bunch of different cool things to make your stick whatever you want it to be. I can't wait to see what you guys decide to make. Please share pictures with us, okay? Have a great day. Bye.